Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you about some great tips and tools that you can use for UX design. I'm just sitting in my home office today and I wanted to share with you some really, really, really good tools that I use. So first things first, um, I want to kind of share with you. I love, you know, always old school, notepad, pen and paper. I know it sounds silly, but you need to need to definitely make sure you walk with this everywhere you go. I know we all have our mobile phones and everything's digital, but nothing beats the written, written, written word. Nothing beats writing things down. You might have an idea in your mind. You might hear, have a client meeting that you're going to. You might have, you know, talking to a friend and you just write something in your phone, but you've got hundreds of iCloud notes or 10,000 Evernotes. Um, I definitely, definitely get your pet writing pad, write things down. Um, definitely another tool that I would definitely say to focus on that I think is really good is a gridded notepad. So on this, it's basically got some really, really fine dots. I hope you guys can see that. And all those dots are so fine. They're all, I think they're all five millimeters apart, but then I sketch all my app ideas and concepts on there. Um, not just with that, um, any ideas that I have, or even if I'm talking about like client meetings, then I, and I'm sketching ideas, then I write them in my notepad, just to throw ideas out. And then from this, this kind of low fidelity level, then I bring it to kind of a high fidelity level, you know, where I'm kind of skinning the design, making it more, you know, appealing, visually acceptable. But then my first point of call when I start is that I kind of have a whole process that I go through and um, there, I'm going to be launching some new videos soon, more videos soon where I go into that. But I kind of wanted to share some of the tools that I'm using just so you can see where we're going with this. So when I go into my process, I'll explain that a bit more. Um, I love to read magazines. So Computer Arts is my favorite, even though they've got a lot of um, a lot of what do you call kind of stuff to, geared towards students. For me, I kind of feel like, you know, I'm always learning, I'm always a student. So this is great. Five killer self-promotion strategies. It's not a UX thing, but I thought I'd throw that one in there definitely to use. Um, on my computer here, I've definitely got a great app. This is Sketch. Um, I don't want to show up any project work right now, but Sketch, great tool to use. Another great tool to use is Adobe Photoshop. You can always do some really amazing stuff with Photoshop. Here's a kind of simple idea of a website I'm working on in progress and on my laptop here you know this is new Adobe experience design this is gonna be a great tool um, I need to get my hands on it it came out really earlier this year but it's really really amazing to use uh, when it comes to product project management managing the whole process you've got tips like tools like in InVision I really like this I think it's a great tool I think it's one of the best out there InVision is brilliant you've also got Slack, iMobilize, well, Slack, sorry. That's with my iMobilize team. Right here, you also have UX pin. So these are just some of the great tools you can use. Um, if you guys want more details, let me know personally. If you've got any other tools that you're using, um, just write me in the comments, let me know, give me some feedback. Maybe I didn't go in as in depth as I could. First video, just trying this kind of whole vlogging out. But um, yeah, just hit me up. Let me know, just, you know, Leif, this is a great tool to use. This is a great tool to use. I also want to get your thoughts on like, what's the new things in UX that is happening? You know, my focus personally is that I design from the standpoint of empathy. You know, how does that user think? How do they feel? What, what are they seeing? You know, where are they going? What are they doing? Kind of really trying to understand the user as much as possible with that really strong design thinking idea. So what, what, what are you, what about you? Like, what are the tools that you're using um, write me in the comments, let me know, Leif, have you seen this? Because I'd love to talk to you about it. I think that's the best way that we can really get better. And there's this massive shift where UX designers are really, really in need now. In the next two to three years, if lucky five years, it's gonna become common, commonplace. So, you know, let's just try and get ourselves as best as we can so that in three, four years, where we'll be even better, even more experienced, even more in need, um, we can then become, you know, more thought leaders and even just sharing our ideas to the younger generation so that they can be better. So yeah, just hit me up, let me know. Leif, this is the tools that I use, this is the tools that I would suggest that you use and get back to me. 
All right, thanks for listening, guys. Take care. Thank you for watching Digitive TV. And if you've liked this video today, don't forget to download my free 25-point UX design checklist. It's really great. It's a checklist that will allow you to go through some of the key things that we may forget as UX designers. And even if you are a seasoned professional, it's helpful. And if you're a beginner, then it's definitely helpful for you. So download it for free and definitely go on my Facebook and just contact me and let me know what you think about it going forward. Take care.